Hi, Carol here, and thank you for joining me in my craft room today. I am really suffering from this terrible four days of migraines and flu symptoms, and I just snuck away into my craft room where it's nice and quiet this evening to finish up my project because I want to enter it in on the challenge at Stamp Nation. And you know I'm not feeling well when I've changed from Coca-Cola to 100% cranberry juice. So if I stop <laughs> to take a sip, you know what I'm drinking. It's not Coca-Cola because my head could not handle that. I need to get off that stuff anyway. So um, when I did this uh, painting from the... Uh, this is just my practice piece. Don't panic when you look at it. <laughs> um, I got it from the Frugal Crafter and I think she's a wonderful watercolor artist. And I was challenged to do uh, a card over on Stamp Nation. The colors were fall colors that Maureen chose. And so I redid my, yes I did, because I redid the piece I did on the last video. Where is it here? I had a six by six piece and I must have set it somewhere. I don't want to use it right there. It is. Uh, remember I did this one and I kind of boogled it up there um, with drawing those lines in where I was going to put some of the husk. But anyway, that's not why I didn't use it. The reason why I didn't use it is this six and a half by six and a half inch size. I thought that it would look better longer, so I started it, and then I thought, you know what, Carol, turn on the camera, just because you're not feeling well. People understand, and so I am, and so I started to do the, this is the um, actual card piece. So I'm going to, uh, I took a piece of Strathmore watercolor paper, 140 pound, and I cut it to size on this five and a half by seven inch card. All of the uh, card products are Stampin' Up colors, and I broke them down like this. More mustard, I'm not sure this, uh, this burgundy, this is, uh, I should know these, I think it's Bravo burgundy, and the black, and this is actually craft card, not cardstock. It's really thick card. I use this for my books when I'm doing albums. And then my watercolor piece. So let's get at her. On the inside, I'm doing a piece of watercolor paper with those napkins I bought. And uh, to write my uh, sentiment in the inside. So. Um, I wasn't feeling well. I had to stop the video and lie down for an hour and then I came back. So I'm just continuing on with, uh, I even left the lid on my Mod Podge. That's terrible. So um, you want to take your tissue and you want to break it down. If it's one layer, three, generally they're three layers, but this was two layer tissue. And I love vintage. I love vintage cars because I love to layer. I love one, um, like clean and simple cards too, but I, I find them a little bit more work for me to get the concept down, but I, I work at it. And I thought this was just a perfect card for uh, fall. And I have a friend I'm sending this to that um, lives on a farm and would love to have a card like this. So I'm sending it to her. So anyway, this is a this is a nice idea to write over because you just put a cream colored cardstock to write and then you, you don't even have to color on the outside. I'm doing it now so that we can incorporate it in the card. And then um, once it's dry, I will cut off I made it bigger, which is always good to do. And there you have it. That's the inside. Now that could be a card in itself, couldn't it? It's really pretty. And then I get to 
to use these stickers. Maybe. I don't know. We will see. So I have that and then I want to cut the leaves out to hang from the front of my piece. So all you do is put some wouldn't you know I got a hair on there? Come on, get off. There we go. Okay, so I will just pick the leaves out that you want to cut out, which is this one here, that one. Then you can tear it off. So I'll use this one, this one, this one, and this one. Although I'm going to lose that one, so I think I'll grab another sheet. I think I have one down here. Oh, accident. There we go. Grab your markers. I like this stamping kit for keeping my markers in. There we go. And then I just bend this back like that, and it sets it up for me all on its own. Oops. Like so. And if you don't bang it, it's perfect. Like that. Okay, so I do want to use a few more of these leaves. And you might use them in another project as well. So it's good to... This is a really old, old paintbrush. Look at that, some more hair I'm bringing down. They come right off these old paintbrushes. I think that's the only reason I don't like, I'm not even going to pick that out. Um, let's see. Because I don't think you'll see it. There we go. Let that dry. I love decoupage. Uh, the next thing, I had somebody ask me if um, if I would show my lamp that I bought on camera, and so I'm going to do that as well. Alright, I want this one leaf right there, and I know you might not be able to see this, but I can hear and I want that one leaf right there. So that's all I need to do. And then we will set these aside and dry them up while we're coloring the front. Whoa. I almost lost that one. There we go. So this will dry, this will dry, and we will cut them out for the front of the card. I'm going to stop and have some of my cranberry juice, not Coca-Cola. That Coca-Cola is not good for you. I know it has 25, no, excuse me, 12 teaspoons of sugar, it says, in um, one can. That's why you get fat drinking that stuff. If you don't, well, you've got good metabolism. I'm going to set that there. I don't have it in my old age. So let's clean this and get water in here. One thing about a migraine, you do lose weight because I haven't eaten practically anything since Sunday afternoon. I stress out because I miss work. And, um... There's nothing you can do. I mean, there's absolutely, if you're a migraine sufferer, you understand. There is nothing you can do, and you can only get out. I haven't come to my craft room because you can't stand the lights. I don't, I only have one light going, and um, I hope you can see this. Um, I stopped the camera, but I want to, I had to stop the camera because I wasn't feeling well. So I'm not sure if I showed you this. I want to show you. Um, this beautiful. This is my next uh, project to color. Is that not gorgeous? I'm going to use my new color, uh, those Japanese 
uh, watercolors that I ordered. I'm waiting for those to come in. I have three orders coming in. Funny story I have to tell you. Um, while I'm doing this, I'll, I'll talk and tell you. I wanted to... Um, I wanted to... I was watching... Uh, let me back up. I was watching a... Um, YouTube channel and the lady was saying that she had lost the joy of crafting and she couldn't understand why. And she was cleaning up her craft and this is just my version of it. And then she realized that the reason she had lost her joy was because all she did was order and organize. The two words, the O-O, that will sometimes just strangle a crafter because I can say it from experience. You get to watching these videos, you get all inspired, and you start ordering. And before you know it, you have to um, find spaces for it. And then you don't use the stuff you bought months and years back. So uh, she said she made a commitment till January 1st she was not going to... Um, uh, order. So I thought, I was, I'm so proud of you. I don't even know you, but wow. And um, so I thought, maybe I could do that. I wasn't done thinking it for 15 seconds and I was ordering. <laughs> so anyway, the gist of it is, after these three orders come in and that UPS person drops them off, I think I am going to commit my myself, not commit myself. <laughs> I'm going to commit myself to not ordering to see if I can. I'm going to start with not ordering for one month. Isn't that pathetic? I love watching hauls, but I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to try it. That would be awesome. So get yourself some water, get yourself a napkin, and let's get this done so we can put this card together. Shall we? So all I did was trace it in pencil, traced it, uh, went in with my uh, Copic 0 0.3 marker, and I just made lines thicker in the areas. I shaded some areas with the marker and I put the corn in. It's not a hard um, sketch for sure. I love to sketch. I'm not as good as the frugal crafter of course she's had a lot more experience and, and a lot more talented I'm sure uh, I am sure <laughs> but I like to doodle I like to craft and that's all you need to do if in order to uh, if you don't try it how are you gonna know right so I started out with frayed burlap and um, walnut stain two of my favorite colors but I have to incorporate some of the um, they fall out so be it some of the colors that are in the uh, challenge so I should get over on that challenge just to see what those colors are let me just see here I took a pick because you can get forgetful oh my I think I took a pick. Let's see. Where are those colors? I don't want to spend all my time looking for those colors, but I know I took a picture of them. Isn't that funny? Um, I guess I did it. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to do it from memory. Um, I know there was red, yellow, burgundy, browns, and greens. Yes, I think that was it. So, I'm going to put a little bit of this um, Concord grape, Concord, I think this is Dusty Concord. So, um, I'm just going to add some water. First, right in the center, and reactivate. 
because I had to stop. But this will activate, which is really nice about these uh, markers, and it's really nice to have the 140 pound card stock. I'm just going to give a hint following those lines of color with that. There we go. And go back in with my water. I don't know if you're supposed to do it that way, but in my case, maybe I'll put wisps of that grape. I hope you can see this. There we go. And you can go back to, um, let's do those two first. You can go back to my video if you want to see, or go to, if you want to see the nice video, go to the Frugal Crafter on YouTube, and you'll be able to see her do this the right way. I think the reason why I like her work is that she, uh, she exhibits a lot more zeal <laughs> uh, doing a video. Now I have zeal, but this is as zesty as I'm going to get today. Uh, you know, different personalities, right? And on top here, I want to stick to the browns. I don't want too much of... Let me put some water here. I'm going to go back to, I don't mind that much, but that's all I'm going to go to. I think I'll use some of the vintage photo down in here. This is very pretty. I'm going to darken up where my lines are that I put in, like, like so. And that's why I drew them in there. And try some down in here. There we are. I want to keep this rather light. Hers were very light and it looked very nice. So, I will follow suit. I like this uh, burlap, frayed burlap. Now, although on the it looks lighter on the cap. To me, it's a tad darker. This is where I'll follow the lines. There, that's it. Then I'll take my brush, some water, and I'll finish this off. Where are I? This way you don't See any lines? That's what I was saying. Like you don't. I don't like to see lines. I think that comes from using your Copics. You want to get those lines out of there. There we go. It goes out a bit. Uh, when I was watching the Food Crafter, it's really funny because she said it. it sometimes I don't mind the, it going out of the lines, but sometimes I get my. Uh, I get to where it does bother me, and I don't want to have my watercolors seeping too much. That's why I put the lines there. Keep me in the lines, right? This is a vintage card. I'm going to jump in here. And vintage gives you a little bit more leeway. I was just pressing my iPad there. Because things are uh, more forgiving. Can you see that? All I'm doing is adding, that's why I like this 140 pound cardstock of Strathmore. Um, I'm going to leave it light up there. I like the fact that every one is different, right? And then we'll assemble it. The other things should be done and we'll have ourselves a nice vintage card. I think I need a little bit of the dusty concord there. Possibly. 
there. Just I'm looking at it. I'm going to pull that in a little bit. There. There. Nice. And because I drew it, I kind of know where, why I put the lines in where I did. I'm going to grab some, um, like this would be darker, so I'm going to add a little bit of dark right in there. nice. So I'm finished that. Just saw this. Let that dry on its own. It's nice when it can dry on its own. There. There we go. So we have that done. We have shadows. We have different colors. They're darker. It doesn't have to be exact because this is your rendition of what you saw. Right? So let's clean that up. And we'll go on to the yellow. So we have and this is what I like right here. This is fast. You're going to take your markers and um, this is spiced marmalade and I'm going to just add to the kernels like this. I could do it with the brush, yes, but um, this will give me intensified corn. <laughs> And then I'll add some over here. Let's get all our orange out of the way. And then if you went over anything on the husk, you can just use, fill it in with this. And remember when you drew these that you don't want to have a uniform denture looking corn. You want to have, um, and this I'm going to keep to the reds. And then I'm going to use some of the mustard seed. This I won't be so picky because I want most of it in here. It's almost like I'm going to color it in. Okay, let's grab our paintbrush. In. And it's no time at all. Isn't that wonderful with distress inks? They just blend immediately. I'll add some more water. And then I'll put some on there. See how that goes picking it up from there. No, it's nice, but that's just an added mess. I'm going to stick to just putting it on like this, drawing it. There we go. And then take your black soot and I'm going to dry it up just a bit. I hardly have any time here. I might have to show you the finished product. Let's just do a few. One. Oh, I have to. I'm going to switch over. I don't like that bullet end. One, two, three. Don't want to go over too many of my orange. As I say that, I'm doing it. There. Okay, let's get some. One of my colors is red. Fired, is this fired brick? I think so. So let's do a little bit of fired brick. I'm doing this the easy way now instead of being picky. Water. 
I want to avoid the black. Just do a bit like that so it doesn't look like, so it looks like watercolor. together so you can see what I'm doing. I don't want to rush it because I like this card. If I have to go into another video, so be it. You can just like click it so you see the start and then look at the end. <laughs> Spare you the boredom. On here, you can pick that up. There, I kind of like that. What do you think? There we are. And I'm going to add a bit of blues. It needs some so, let's just grab some blue in here. Then I'll start, because festive corn is a lot of colors, right? There we go. There we are. And almost want to deepen this up with a real dark. Tell me how I am. Let's see. Dusty Concord. I am going to just put that on there like that. Okay, so um, you can add your black soot to that to make it even more, whoop, more vibrant. How many seconds? Yeah, because I only have a minute. I'm going to go into part two. I'm sorry to have to do that, but I don't want to hurry this along. I really do like it, and if you start, I need to incorporate some of this. So I'll see you on the next video. If it just goes out. I'll keep working at it. And I think I'll put it on here and pick up from there. Oh, that's funny. There, that's good. Excellent. It's watercolor. Don't be afraid to add water. There we go. And now I'll put some water on there to go around the edges in that green that I need. And I'll use oh, 24 seconds. Alright. Um, I'm going to use the burgundy, I think because of the paper choices on the outside. So let's lay down some water and I'll see you on part two.